most of us would agree that diverse teams with different perspectives are beneficial for the long-term success. No matter how challenging it may be for some to understand, accept, and welcome folks who are their complete opposites long-term, even immediately, but long-term, it's always good to have different perspectives and different ideas. In my experience is there are three kind of major areas of benefits when it comes to diverse teams. And when I mean diverse, I don't mean just race and gender, which are important, but I mean beyond that. Background, experiences, education, part of the world they come from, what was their native language, age, age is very important. A lot of people are looked at as say, and are often experiencing stereotypes by either, you're too old to do this, you should not do this, you should retire, right? Or you're too young to be good at this, you don't know enough. So those in the middle are kind of okay, but both extremes and both outliers in a sense are often overlooked, which is unfortunate because they can both contribute from different perspectives in different ways, but they can both contribute to the overall growth success of that team. So three major areas of benefits when it comes to having a diverse team. One is their background and experience, right? Really background and the way they were brought up, the way they were raised. And part of that is age. You can have same folks raised in the same town and one of them is 25 today and the other one is 55 today. And they've had different childhoods, different priorities in their lives. They went through different schools different educational systems. They had different entrepreneurial opportunities or they didn't have them back then, right? Both can be strengths and weaknesses depending how you position them, but both are important. So one is really background, upbringing, and values. Who are you as an individual, as a person? And not everybody who looks the same way is the same. You can have five people who look the same, gender, race, height, weight, and they could have five different perspectives, five different backgrounds, and five different sets of values. So that's important to understand. Two is really their experiences from beginning of their journey, their lives, to where they are today. How do they learn? What are the things that they had to overcome? And I don't mean just education and career, but did they live in an area that had political or socioeconomic challenges and disruptions to speak? Did they have to go through a war zone? Did they have to, you know, walk seven miles one way to get drinking water? There's a lot of things that shape you as an individual. So one is background and experiences, background and kind of integrity and who you are as a core human being. Then two, are your experiences layered on top up until this point? And three is the byproduct of the first two. And those are ideas and solutions. Diverse people from diverse backgrounds think differently about the same issue, about the same challenge. And then one of them might come up with a different, original and creative approach to a challenge that others have been staring at without much success for weeks or months, in some cases, even years. So. It's easier to say for most of us, and there are still few who probably wouldn't agree, but fortunately for us, they're a minority. People from different backgrounds, different experiences, different genders, races, age groups, educational systems, degrees, processes, whether you have a PhD, MD, or you're a high school dropout, all can be valuable and have different perspectives towards the success and creation of something amazing together as a team. So consider those three as you build your team. Try to get different perspectives, different backgrounds, different experiences. Look at different races, different genders, educational backgrounds, part of the world. What language did they learn how to speak first? What are the challenges and difficulties that they had to overcome to become the man or a woman you see today? Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below the video on the topic I just covered 
and add other important major high-level benefits that I've missed in this video. Have a great day.